Hello viewers, in this class we are going to learn how to write a pen portrait and I am going to give you a step by step guideline. First, let's understand what is a pen portrait. It is, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, do it now and don't forget to press the bell icon. A pen portrait is a vivid description of a person. It gives such accurate details that an entire picture is constructed in the reader's mind. That's why it is called a pen portrait, a mind picture that is constructed with the help of words. Just like artists draw sketches with the aim of producing paintings that seem to jump off the canvas or sculptures that seem to move in just the right light, in the same way writers write the pen portraits. Writers use this tool to develop their craft of characterization. It is these vivid descriptions that have made novelists so famous. Charles Dickens is famous for his pen portraits. If you read about the description of Oliver Twist or the way David Copperfield was described or his stepfather, it seems as if they would jump out of the book and start talking to you. And as I had promised, I am now going to give you a step-by-step -step guideline. First thing, whom is the description about? Who is your character physically? Physical characteristics are the first things we notice when we meet someone, isn't that so? Therefore, this is a good starting point when we start writing a pen portrait. Is your character a woman or a man? Is he or she tall or short? Is your character bald or hairy? How old is your character? Does he or she have a disability? You could tell about his name, age, height, face, teeth, smile and so on. Additionally, you can mention about his or her clothes and accessories. Maybe a pink bracelet that made a mark or maybe a backpack that he was carrying or maybe a, it could be a wristwatch, a single earring, broken shoe. It could be a black coat or maybe a brown one. And there might be some interesting facts like my friend Mohan is very fond of gardening. But he also likes to collect stamps. He also has a passion for numismatics. You must go beyond the physical appearances into the mind of the person whom you are describing. You need to focus upon what he or she thinks, what he feels and acts like. Maybe he is a lively person or maybe a very charismatic one. He could be dull, he might be witty, he might have a good sense of humor. And what are his attitudes, appearances and lifestyle? What is his approach? Dear students, once you are sure about what to write in terms of physical appearance and other things which I just discussed, you should then focus upon how to write it, that is the writing style. You should make use of precise language to construct your pen portrait. For example, if you say, he's a good boy, this sentence actually doesn't tell us anything about the boy. But if you say that he is sincere, hardworking and trustworthy, you have accurately pointed out his qualities. Effective writing is always about using specific words. Hence, an accurate image is formed in the reader's mind and there is no scope for any confusion. If you keep using the same word, the writing becomes repetitive, mundane and boring. When it comes to verbs, make use of strong action verbs to create an accurate picture of exactly what your pen portrait character is doing. Make use of a lot of similes and metaphors. I'll give you an example. If you say my friend Amit is as fat as an elephant, it is a simile. But if you say my friend Amit is a fat elephant, 
it is a metaphor make use of idioms in your writing an idiom is a specific way of saying something they don't mean the same as the words that are used in them but they convey a different meaning for example the idiom down to earth means practical a straight forward person is direct and honest whereas easy going person is laid back if a person is set in his ways it means he does not like to change his habits example my friend rohan is a very lively boy he is 15 years old and of medium height he is very slim and has brown curly hair he is fair complexioned with a round face and chubby cheeks his eyes have a mischievous twinkle that convinces the adults that he is always up to something he has a great passion for playing the violin and is often the star of public occasions he is very witty and has such a great sense of humor that he is very popular among his friends his love for food is so outstanding that he has a lot of knowledge about various cuisines he has traveled to many countries and is well aware about the various and diverse global cultures He seems to be very easy going but he is very down to earth rational and practical I enjoy his company a lot and we have a great time together This was the end of my lesson I hope you liked it For other notifications do check out the description box